Today is the door day. day. Oh, we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> Today is door, door day. day. It is, it feels like Christmas morning. Just a side note, Brad makes Maltese <laughs> lattes. So you get the shot of coffee, you get the milk, you put the Maltesers in. <laughs> you froth it with the teasers. Oh, mate. <laughs> anyway, anyway. today is door day. Behind us is our front door. And which, we're happy to see it go. <laughs> yeah, which is problematic for so many reasons. One, no light comes through this door and we have no idea who's on the other side of this door when someone knocks. Um, and it's, it's really boring too, like boring yeah. door. There's nothing happening here. It's got no pizzazz. No pizzazz. And also, I mean, it's just because the ceilings were much lower, um, it feels really dark in here because above the door is just all wall. So we need some light to come in, flood our hallway mm. and have a center point, like an anchor point for our house because right now it's not doing much at all. <laughs> she nasty. <laughs> she nasty. So yeah, it's the new height is going to match the existing windows, which we're going to be rebuilding as well. A few things. One, if you haven't seen our upcycle of the front door video, we'll put it here somewhere. Um, <laughs> Go watch it. So we took an upcycled door, a reclaimed door, and we made it into what's going to be sort of our front door, surrounded by our highlights and our top. What's the top highlight called? A highlight. Oh, what's the side ones called? Side, side lights. lights. <laughs> side lights and highlights. And as Brad says, it'll make it feel larger and grander. Mm. We better get cracking. I'll take you through all the bits that Brad has individually built. He did it much like you did the windows, right? It's essentially the same construction process, just a different size, more wood paneling. So there's a few extra little bits and pieces that I did in these side lights with the integrated wood panels to match the door that I didn't do in the windows, but essentially the whole construction of the frames are very much the same. So if you haven't watched that video, we'll put it here. Who knows where it'll be? <laughs> uh, and you can see how Brad makes these from scratch from the old hundred year old wood. Uh, it's pretty amazing that we are um, getting so much out of this old wood oh, yeah. that we pulled from the ceiling. So yeah, let's get cracking. I'll take you through the bits and pieces and Brad needs to cut a hole in the wall. Oh, big old hole. Big old hole. <laughs> let's go. It's really hard to tell because our whole house is like framing, but behind me, this bit here, let me see if I can move it for you, is the frame of our new front door. So these will be the side lights, up here is the top highlight, and where I'm standing is going to be the front door that we upcycled. So this is going to go into the giant hole Brad's about to cut in our wall, and these These will go into, so this essentially is the side highlight. These will go into here. Um, and this has been built custom to match the front door as well as the side windows. So hopefully it will look really custom built and match perfectly and feel really cohesive. Um, so right now I've got to do a lot of wood filling and sanding to get these to where they need to be. I can do it when it's installed as well, but while we've got the time, I might as well do as much as I possibly can and we're gonna get started. It's exciting. Look what's mine. So this is the existing door frame that was on the outside of our door frame, but it was all hidden. So they had the architrave going over the front, they had the door style, the door rail going over the inside of it and covering it all up. But it's actually this really nice routed detail and this kind of corner post detail up here too. So aside from the smoke damage, aside from the smoke damage, it's like, this whole frame was actually quite wide. That's a, that's a big door. So they've just gone and hick and put a smaller door inside of the original door. That's right. I just realized we'll be getting rid of this light. We will be getting rid of the light. Which is great because that haunts me in my dreams. It just feels <laughs> nasty. It is a bit, no, it's rusted. It's, it's rusted and there's glass, glass missing. Off. <laughs> yeah. It's time to go. <laughs>
after a bit of mucking around, we finally got it screwed off into the frame. Our, uh, our start frames is a little bit wonky. It's not the straightest of frames uh, that I've ever worked on before, but look, it's, it's as best as I can get it against our frame, so we'll make the rest work with plaster. Um, however, now we're up to putting in these weather strips, so I'm framing out the insides of these frames with another section of timber like this, which I've actually made out of our old floorboards. It's a, it's a 12 by 45 mil strip of timber. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on the inside and that's gonna stop, oh, that's gonna cause our weather stop. So it means that any moisture that, or any rain that sort of comes through and hits that edge isn't gonna come like up and over this weather strip. So it also forms a bit of a rebate for our window frame infills, our side lights, and our three highlights up the top there to sit into. So I'm gonna start popping all these in now then put this uh, right hand side light on and then I'm gonna hang the door. So that's gonna get my hinge style of the door frame nice and straight, packed off this wall nice and strong. And then uh, that'll give me a good solid base to work off. So I'm gonna get this side light in, get the door on and then we'll keep going. <laughs>
Brad's just muttering to himself over there. So... Oh, stuffed up a piece of glass. We have to use a random one to stick it in instead. We've had some, uh, we've had some troubles, but we're, have, we're getting there. So look, have a look at this. Sorry, Vaya, I'm not making a huge amount of sense. We're very tight. So we're on our second day of installing this door. It's becoming nighttime now, but we're ready to... Which is the perfect time to start handling really sharp glass. <laughs> uh, we are about to start glazing. Hopefully we won't chop any fingers off. Um, we did have some troubles with our highlights. They didn't fit, but Brad has... MacGyvered them so mm. they work now so that's great and we're really just glazing and painting and then we're done that's it it's really home exciting home stretch we want to bang it out tonight because we really need this to finish one so we can like have a front door and lock the door and two because we're going on holiday on Friday um, and we need to be able to lock the door while we're away so yep yeah, let's get glazing it's so it's really exciting Moment of truth. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It fits. It fits. All right, so we're just gonna. What's the plan? Just go hard with the silicon. Go hard with the silicon. Just so it makes some sort of contact up the front. <laughs> Oh my gosh, John. Yeah. We have windows. Woohoo! We have all of the glass in. You're <laughs> getting holding to I've got dinner. Try come here. It's been hard work, so we're, we're ready with our feet. Yeah. And we can shut the door. Oh no, you gotta get the station leader. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. We'll just do this later. Alright, well, that was overwhelming, and that's probably won't make it in the final cut. believe we have come to the end of our front door project. We still have the beading to do, but for the most part, we can say that this project is officially finished. It went from a dark, small entrance into a light-filled hallway. I love the archway in the front door. Taking out that starburst design really made the doorway feel modern. One of my favorite things about this front door project is the hardware. I'm obsessed with our brass hardware and I love that it has the big curved hardware plate. Our house is going to be a mixture of curves and straight edges and I think this doorway sums that up perfectly. This doorway looks as though it is one beautiful piece and I absolutely love that it flows so beautifully. Thank you for watching this episode. We are so, so happy with the end result. We would love to hear your thoughts on our beautiful front door and we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.